Hello there, Credo Beauty is a series of stores in the US with some of my favorite brands. They stock exclusively clean and cruelty-free products, and I'd had my eye on plenty that can't be found easily in Australia, so I did a bit of damage on two visits to New York last year. I get asked about clean beauty a lot and have more content coming, but wanted to recap the products I picked out in Credo and share what I've been enjoying. Not really a regular haul because I've been using these for a while and can share mini reviews. A few new pieces from brands you will have seen pop up before, plus a few channel debuts. The Nolita store I shopped in also appears in a beauty tour episode on my channel. I love Gillian Dempsey's glowy lid tints and reviewed them here a long time ago, but her cheek tints were top of my list. A light, pocket-sized compact with an easy cream inside. Interestingly, these have a very different consistency to her glossy lid tints. The pan is fairly firm and they're much more on the matte side of cream blush, so best applied on freshly moisturised skin. You can see I showed the shade Sunny a lot of love last summer, an ideal rosy brown that strikes the perfect balance between blush and bronzer. Naturally sun-kissed and a great warm, subtle shade on the eyes too. Petal is a much softer, fair baby pink, quite pastel and subdued and nice to add a pop of colour on eyes as well. Poppy is a bright sorbet coral orange, not the red you'd expect from the name. A safe way to look slightly sunburnt. Couldn't resist more shades of Gillian Dempsey's famous lid tints too. These cream shadows are very subtly tinted, super sheer and glossy for an eye-catching but low-key, slightly messy look. They do crease, but I don't really mind. It's almost part of the idea. Glimmer is my new favourite, a perfect peachy tone to bring out the green in your eyes and add a slightly warm glow. It has some iridescence to it, so it looks really luminous. Gillian says it can also double as a highlighter too. Lilac is a cool toned lavender that comes up slightly more pink on my skin tone. Very lightly tinted, so by the time this is on the eye, only a hint of colour will come across, but gloss and glow is the goal. Ritual de Fee was a brand I'd heard a lot about and was excited to finally track down in Credo. Plenty of shades to choose from in their Inner Glow Cream Pigment range, fancy name for cream blush, but Delirium was my pick. Quite a bold red in the pan, but more of a blood orange on my skin. Super creamy and easy to smooth on with a nice glowy finish. Their Ashen Ember Eye Soot Pot in Viscera ticked the red shadow box for me. The packaging is a bit tricky to dip your finger into, but the feel of the cream to powder formula is easy to work with. Plenty of pigments, so the lightest smudge of this shimmery burgundy is enough for me. Their Enchanted Lip Sheer in the dark berry shade Swarm was actually a shade I spotted on their Instagram when it was worn as a glossy eyeshadow. Love that kind of creative product use. Super smooth and light on the lips, but plenty of colour payoff. It also has a really interesting, slightly herbal, maybe rosemary scent. It's really nice. I've loved Kosas lipsticks for a long time and reviewed them in the early days of my channel, so I'd always wanted to try the rest of their range. Their colour and light cream was an obvious choice for me, a cream blush and highlight duo. This formula is very, very soft and emollient, so pressing down on the compact would end in disaster. A soft swipe is all you need. Velvet Melon is a pretty bright apricot with a warm champagne highlight to keep you in a summery headspace. Light and easy to blend into the skin. Their tinted face oil attracted a lot of attention and mixed reviews when it launched last year. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know my preference is zero coverage, so I don't wear any foundation, and I lean towards lightweight creams or fluids instead. But this one was surprising. I might use six to seven drops of Glossier skin tint to create a really sheer look, for example, but I only need one drop of this, if that. It has so much coverage for a fluid base that very little goes a really long way. The finish might seem fairly glowy, but it ended up looking and feeling quite matte on my skin and almost has a powdery smooth texture. Not quite what I was hoping for, but I'm interested to hear how you found it. Their weightless lip colours are always reliable for a smooth, comfortable feel and pop of colour. I've almost collected the whole bunch, like some kind of crazy lipstick magpie, but Royal was a bright purple berry to play up my green eyes and create a focal point on a bare-faced look. You've seen these little pots before. Tata Harper's Volumizing Lip and Cheek Tints are one of my absolute favourite cream blush formulas. So smooth, creamy, mousse-like, and a dream to blend. Very Sweet is an Emma Watson approved shade for a fresh pop of baby pink. And Very Naughty is a beautiful crimson. Slightly different texture to the others I've tried as it's a bit more sheer and less creamy, but still works perfectly as a lip tint or sheer cheek flush. I had one Kia Weiss blush before this trip, but a chance encounter with the founder made me fall in love with the brand. Casually browsing Barney's beauty department and suddenly came face to face with Kirsten Kia Weiss, who was working on her counter that day. She ended up doing my makeup and I couldn't resist acting on some of her recommendations and picking up the products she used. Their cream blush is a really emollient, soft formula that melts into skin. Blossoming is a pretty peachy pink that's nice and fresh, but Joyful is a coral orange dream. I love shades that lean towards that sunburnt kind of look, but I wear SPF every day, so I'm I'm only gonna fake it. Her cream highlighter in Radiance is another creamy option with plenty of champagne glow. It's not as glossy as other cream highlighters I use, so it creates more of a low watt, subtle look, like your skin is just naturally glowing. 
Kirsten used her eye pencil in brown to define my eyes and it's something I continued to reach for most days last year. Super smooth and creamy, really pigmented and it glides on easily. I like to add a light swipe to the outer third of my lash line to thicken it up a bit. The colour combination of this Ilia Summer Essential Face Palette is me in cream form. A deep orange, mauvey rose, shimmery bronze and golden highlight. I love Ilia's multi sticks and these shades have a similar slightly glossy finish for a very healthy natural glow. It's a perfect shade combo for me because they all work really well on eyes too. I've been intrigued by Vapor's Aura Multi-Use Stick and picked up the Plummy Berry shade Lua for a change. Unfortunately mine formed a bit of a film on top and it's been a bit messy to apply at times but the formula is creamy and not sticky when it behaves. A few sheer lip products to finish. Henne Organics Luxury Lip Tint had been on my radar for a long time. A very smooth balm with a cooling feel that leaves a sheer tint behind. Coral was a great pick for New York Summer for a pop of orange on the lips and I loved smudging it on cheeks too. But Intrigue is definitely more me. A great muted brownie red that you can leave as one swipe or layer to intensify that warm colour. At the slightly more matte end of Sheer Balms, I'd heard good things about Cooler's Tinted Mineral Lip Lux. I saw someone using the shade Tan Line a long time ago and loved the peachy neutral look. More creamy than Henne, but not as lightweight. The shade Bonfire was really what I was after, but unfortunately when I opened it after I'd already left the store and the city, the bullet was not in great shape. I don't even know what this texture is, a fault with the mould or actual mould, but it doesn't look good. What should have been a nice subdued chocolate brown just feels a bit strange and dry, so I haven't worn it. Let me know if this has happened to any of your cooler balms, or any balm really, and please share if you know what this issue is. Let me know if you've come across Credo before or spotted any favourites in this pile. A couple of unfortunate texture issues here, but mostly a great new gang of creamy, clean products to play with. Love to hear if you've tried any of them too. Thanks for watching, see you next time.